couple of years ago, I was at an American Public Garden conference meeting, and one of my colleagues, Karen Dobman, who's the vice president of exhibition for the New York Botanical Garden, mentioned to me that they were awaiting to hear about a grant award. And I said, about what? What kind of grant? And she said, well, we're going to mount a Frida Kahlo exhibit. And the minute I heard that, I thought, Tucson needs this. We hosted the exhibition May to uh, October 2015, and um, we had been working on it for three or four years in advance. We typically do several flower shows each year, and we have a 250-acre garden, so the venues are spread out. And we were able to secure a National Endowment for the Humanities grant, but in order to get that, they really want the work that you put into an exhibition to live on. And so we immediately started looking for partners, and the Tucson Botanical Garden seemed to be a perfect fit. And I thought, I don't know how we're going to do this. But she said, so what parts of this exhibit do you want? And I said, I want everything, except the artwork we couldn't accept and a few historical items. I said, just pack it all up and ship it. We'll get it shipped. And Pima Community College was able to recreate it and rebuild it. And uh, it has just been a labor of love of the entire community partnering to make sure this happens. This is not only a celebration of Frida Kahlo as a Mexican, it's a celebration of Frida Kahlo as a universal human being. And more than that, celebration of the Mexican community that is working in the U.S., in Arizona, and in Tucson. So this is a great occasion. Oh, I think it's wonderful. It's the colors, the vibrancy, the blue, and the marigolds, the bright orange. And it's just so creative. It's fun. The Casa Azul is outside of Mexico City, so we in New York it was an internal ex exhibition with some outside aspects and then a gallery and poetry walk. So then translating that to Tucson was very exciting when I got the phone call that this was going to happen and you know my home, what I call my hometown and um, I'm from, grew up in Yuma but I've spent a lot of time in Tucson, went to school here. So when the New York Botanical Garden called me and said that this was happening and they knew I was going to be ecstatic about it is the way that I remember it in Mexico City originally, open to the sky. This is amazing and I'm thrilled to see all of the love and creation that the New York Botanical Garden put into this exhibition, living a longer life here in Tucson. I'm really interested in native plants and in gardens and I was very curious to see how they would, I was, what her garden looked like. I think that the Botanical Gardens is very lucky to get this exhibit. I read that it's only one of two in the whole country, so this is a real coup for the gardens. It's gorgeous and it is quite an insight into her life and, and what she's all about, which I didn't know too much about, so it's enlightening. Well, she's really the epitome of the cult of uh, personality. What made her special was not only her surrealist works that were very personal and quite challenging, but also her own style. She melded the idea of European modernism with Mexican indigenous culture. So a lot of her imagery comes from that uh, kind of sensibility and certainly her dress. But then later, the contemporary folk artists have been influenced by her. So you'll see a lot of Chicano artists or folk artists uh, emulating how she looked. Uh, for instance, we have this wonderful piece by Josefina Aguilar, who is a Oaxaca folk artist. And in our collection, we have a double-headed Frida. And again, it's sort of putting her on this special cult celebrity status of putting her on a pedestal for being kind of a champion of the folk artist from Mexico. And then we have another artist, David Teneo, who's a well-known uh, Chicano artist, a mural artist from this area. And he's often painted her image. And then I think when you go to see the, uh, the festivities around Dia de los Muertos, a lot of people will dress up as Frida. So she's become almost as uh, much of an icon as the Virgin of Guadalupe because it's such a recognizable image. We hope that people feel that same inspiration when they come here and they read about Frida Kahlo and how nature inspired her to do the work she did. 
We, I also hope that, you know, it's difficult. Sometimes you always, as a botanical garden director, have to figure out ways to inspire people to become environmentalists, to become gardeners, to, be, to become appreciators of nature who might not otherwise walk into our doors. So this just gives us another opportunity to make a connection with someone who might not be a botanical garden aficionado or even an appreciator and show them all that we have to offer, which is much, much more than even Frida Kahlo. There's a lot of many components in this wonderful urban garden in the middle of Tucson. Thank you.